know, the, the event today was about trying to change um, behaviour amongst the society in Holland. And obviously, schools and young people are the, um, are the, the people who are a really important part of the community. And, you, and if we talk to them young and we get them to understand what the issues are, then I think that they can change their behaviour. Like this are fun, they're interactive, they're educational and we really show uh, pupils or all those involved um, just what they can do to help, what they can do to help and, and exactly what you know, will happen if nothing's done and if there is no uh, action taken. We are the new young age, age and we are going to be the ones who are later have to tell the world what's going on and what do we have to do and we are the ones who are going to do it actually. So it's important we learn now how to do it so we know when we are older we know how to do it and how to get the earth more green. It's a, it's a journey. It's not like somebody will say, you gotta do this now and this is why you gotta do this and tomorrow everybody's doing it, okay? It's not gonna happen. So the earlier you start explaining why it is important to preserve the environment and why it is important to reduce the carbon emissions, what the results of that might be and what the impact might be on the environment, the earlier you start, the more chances you have that as they grow and make decisions, they will make the right decisions rather than uh, be ignorant of the whole situation. <laughs> so then we did a, um, an animal intelligence in the garden to explain the importance of animals to the kids and the fact that they're actually animals you know, in your gardens and in the school gardens that the, the kids can see which are important to the environment so it's not just about big animals, it's also about birds, about insects, about snails and the kids are a, a, a great way of getting, getting that message over.